I think the, the governance initiatives by the new warden and the Rhodes Trust are long overdue. And they're really part of modern governance where you get your stakeholders involved. Uh, the Rhodes Scholars across the world are truly the ambassadors of this great Rhodes experience and I think it's important to get them involved for two reasons. Their involvement and their engagement will be important in retooling the Rhodes Trust for the future but also refinancing it and becoming financially involved in building this and continuing to build this organization up over time. And So I think these initiatives in reaching out whether by the internet or social networking or whatever modern mediums we need to, to reach the Rhodes Scholars across the world will pay great dividends for the Trust. The most difficult decision I had at Oxford was the end of my first year uh, when I was told by my attorney in the United States that I had to come back to play in the NBA or it was going to cost me a lot of money. And realizing that I would have to give up my Rhodes Scholarship or decide to give up the NBA. And uh, that was a very difficult decision. And I, I went to see the ward and I said, can I do both? Can I come back in the summers after the NBA season, finish in Trinity terms? And he said, absolutely not. I then went and researched and found out that Cecil Rhodes himself, our founder, had come back to Oxford in all Trinity terms. And so I went back to the ward and I said, look, our founder did this, can you make a precedent for me? And he said, Tom, uh, it's okay, you can come back to Oxford in the summers. And that's what I did. And I was able to do both, probably sacrificed a little bit of both, but nevertheless didn't have to make that difficult choice.